Hi, everybody. Welcome back. I hope you enjoyed the food. Just waiting for my slides to appear and my timer to be reset. Thank you. Hi. So I'm Timo Justin. I'm the Partner Program Manager for Google Analytics. And I'm actually going to talk later a little bit more about our partnerships and actually what I do. But right now, I'd like to talk to you about optimizing for the post-click experience. So yeah, so what do we mean by optimizing for the post-click experience? Why should you care? Really, why should you care? And then how do you go about doing it? And I think everybody's familiar with two basic ways of how you can generate and increase your online presence. The most common one used is more traffic, right? The second one is improving your website. And that's really what I'm going to be talking about. So the vast majority of the advertisers in the past have really focused on driving traffic, improving that driving, improving the traffic that they're driving, the click-through rate. But the second part of this is really what happens once somebody's on your site? How do you improve that experience? So what do we mean by this? You've heard in the video, testing, testing, testing. So actually, post-click experience or optimizing for the post-click experience, a fancy way for saying testing. So today, I want to, when you leave, the key term here is testing. So how many of you here currently test or have tested? Oh, a couple. Not as many as I'd like. But testing really is about conversion optimization. Remember, I was talking about goals earlier. And it's identifying goals and driving conversions, so driving you know, the, the kick, the actual striker to actually support and get that goal in. And conversion optimization really is all about optimizing your site. And you can use tools such as Google Website Optimizer. And how many of you here have heard of Google Website Optimizer? OK, it's pretty good. So it's a, it's a, it's a tool, and I'm going to go through an example in a little bit of how this tool can actually help you. Um, unfortunately, we see a lot of advertisers struggling with the concept of testing, and surprisingly, some of the very large ones as well. And there's really three reasons for this. The, the first one is they don't even know that they have a problem. Because, like I said, the first part, there's two ways of increasing your traffic, uh, sorry, increasing your experiences. They're getting more traffic, so everything's going up anyway. Well, that's probably not going to be like that forever. So start thinking about optimizing. Second part, they don't really care. It's not their choice, or the management isn't really um, too worried about this at the moment, so it's not higher on their agenda. And thirdly, they have no idea about how they actually can do this. So I can hopefully provide with some answers to these. So where do I start? We get this asked a lot. And before I go into the details, there is an African proverb which I think reflects really adequately what testing is all about. It's you don't ever jump into the deep end of the pool without knowing how deep it is, right? You don't risk your life without testing it first. So a lot of website owners and a lot of advertisers do this all the time. They launch a new website. Boom, version 3. Here we go. Actually, what they should be launching is version 3000, version 4000. They should continuously be updating one step at a time. The second question about the how is, is also what to test. It's a big problem, right? Where do you focus? The, the answer is actually pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Start testing where you're losing money. So how do you go about doing that? You use your GA data, your Google Analytics data, or you use whatever analytics package that you're using. You find the issues. So for example, you find where, let's say, in your landing pages, there's the highest bounce rate. So you're driving traffic to a landing page, high bounce rate, you're losing money. So that's where you focus on actually trying to start testing. Another way to think about this is creating a, a matrix of sorts. So you sit down with your team. And you brainstorm. You say, which part of my site is important to me from conversion? And which part of the site is receiving more traffic or the most traffic? Which is a really good way to kind of measure and understand where you should start testing. 
I hope everyone here has heard of Barack Obama. Pretty, pretty powerful guy. And he used the tool I referred to earlier, Google Website Optimizer. So when he was running for presidency, uh, he had one of the most sophisticated online teams. He really bet heavily on online. And his goal here in this site, what you're seeing here is pretty straightforward. He wants to raise money for his campaign. And what he was testing was an image or a message and a call to action. Two elements, pretty straightforward, pretty simple. And he tested 24 combinations against these. So he tried video, he tried images, and he tried different calls to action. In the tool, Google Website Optimizer, this is the interface, pr pretty quickly, you can actually identify who the winner, who the winning combination is. This is the winner. And Obama went ahead to not only win the presidential election, but he raised $500 million online. And key to his success of raising this was actually running these experiments. So Obama can do it. You should definitely try to do it as well. So one of my colleagues works in, in the team in London, and he puts six things together. Um, so he works with some of our top advertisers. And he, he got frustrated. So these are some very obvious things. Um, so Forgive me for that, but these are really crucial and fundamental to understand, even though they might seem very obvious. Again, a lot of advertisers don't do these six things. Rule out low quality traffic. Before you start testing, look at the traffic that is coming to you, to your page, to your site, and make sure that that's actually quality traffic. Pretty obvious. Don't spend time on optimizing something that's not going to be a fit. Try to change other things. Traffic duration, probably very relevant for some sites in this region who don't actually receive a lot of traffic. If you don't have a high traffic amount, you need to test for a longer time period. So we're actually providing, um, if you're using Google Website Optimizer, you can actually, there's a little widget that will help you identify um, how long you should actually be running an, ex an experiment for. Also, think big, then refine, right? You don't want to start looking at the color of the button before you know if the button's actually working. So start big. Make a massive change, contrasting, and then start refining. Then start looking at the different buttons. Also, your landing page might not actually be the problem. It might be actually the rest of your site. Right? Also, pretty straightforward. Competitor analysis. You need to start looking at your competitors. Again, very obvious, however, many advertisers do not do this. Put yourselves in the shoes of a user, shop around. Look at your competitors, learn from your competitors, and copy what they're doing or improve on what they're doing. And then also accuracy of data. Something very obvious, yet again, before you start testing, look at your data, make sure that the data is actually accurate. Otherwise, you're gonna be testing something and it's gonna give you poor results. So to summarize the key takeaways, so if you're not testing, you really need to start testing. Um, start, if you don't know where, where you're, where you're losing money. Identify for yourself and for your site where you're actually losing money. Ask your visitors. Use your GA data. Use your analytics data to figure out where you should be actually making changes. Use our tool. It's free. It's simple to use. You can talk to some of our partners who are actually experts at doing this. And if you're looking for a job, Obama's hiring. Actually, for the re-election campaign, he's, he's actually hiring a team of experts to help him test. So this is how important, if you don't believe me, here's the actual, actual link. Um, this is how important this part was to him and to actually getting his campaign started. So thank you very much.